Thanks to our audience for joining us and our panelists. Uh, my name is Sekou Franklin, and I'm the president of the National Conference of Black Political Scientists. Again, thank you for joining this conversation. This conversation is being recorded. We are um, also uh, posted on YouTube, including individual segments of the panelists. And you can find us at our Twitter page, at Incopes Tweets. And also you can find us on Facebook um, if you wanna see uh, posts of this conversation. For those of you who are new to Incopes, um, our organization has been around since 1969. Uh, we have a diverse group of scholars, both faculty and students, and administrators who are committed to research, scholar activism, and mentorship. Uh, before getting started, I want to acknowledge our past presidents who may be on the call, um, our executive council, including our vice president, Tiffany willoughby Harrard, and Kathy Gold Stromal golden our executive director, who will also be moderating today's discussion. Uh, today's discussion, or tonight's discussion, is titled After Americans and the State of Polling in the 2020 Election. Our esteemed panelists offer a different look at elections, at, at election polls, the methodology of polling, and the broader terrain of, of Black political behavior and how it's analyzed in relationship to polling. So I wanna thank our panelists. And I'm gonna turn it over to our moderator who's gonna introduce our panelists. And I should say to our, that this, again, this event is being recorded and we have, I think, a, a, maybe a couple of journalists who are viewing this uh, conversation and they may wanna contact the panelists after, after uh, this, this event. Our, our moderator is Dr. Kathy Stromal golden She's a provost and senior vice president for academic affairs at Mississippi Valley State University. She has served as a director of international programs and a special assistant to the president at Mississippi Valley State. And she has served as a project director for the Mississippi Consortium for International Developments, Higher Education and Development Project for Iraq. She has traveled to more than 70 countries working on international education programs. And in 2019, she was awarded the Student Faculty Diversity Pipeline Award for the American Association for Public Opinion Research. So I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Golden who will introduce the panelists. Good evening, thank you for joining us. Uh, and my, uh, we have an esteemed panel uh, to discuss this most important topic. So we will begin with the Dean who is uh, David C. Wilson, and he's really the Dean of the panel, but he's also uh, the Senior Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences and Professor of Political Science and International Relations. He holds joint appointments in the Department of Psychological and Brain something, as well as Africana Studies uh, at the University of Delaware. David specializes in polls, public opinion, and political psychology. He previously worked for the Gallup Polling Organization as a senior stati statistical consultant. He's a member of the task force on 2020 pre-election polling of the American Association for Public Opinion Research. And he serves on the advisory council for public opinion quarterly. And in his spare time, he's an avid cyclist, and I don't know what else, David. Uh, our second panelist, and she's by no means second, but she's second on this panel, is Camille D. Burge, who is an associate professor in the Department of Political Science at Villanova University. Her research interests lie at the intersection of political psychology and racial and ethnic politics. She is a member of the task force on 2020 pre-election polling of the American Association for Public Opinion Research. She is also one of the lead investigators of the rural survey in Coates' co-sponsoring with the Selma Center for Nonviolence, Truth and Reconciliation. Ray Block is our third panelist. Uh, Ray is an associate professor at Penn State University. He is the co-author of Losing Power, African-Americans and Racial Polarization in Tennessee Politics. His research interests include racial, ethnic, and gender differences in civic involvement, campaigns, and elections, 
He is also a senior research analyst for the African American Research Collaboration Collaborative and Latino Decisions. Ray was one of the lead investigators of a 9,400 person polling poll during the 2018 midterm election and one of the lead investigators of the 15,000 person 2020 American Election Eve poll. 